A question everyone asks themselves is, could I have been good enough to play Division I golf? Well, today, guys, we're at Michigan State University, and the coach is gonna give me a tryout to show you guys how hard it is to make a Division I golf team. And to do that, he's gonna be putting me through a series of four tests and ranking me D1, D2, D3, or D none. Oh, I love it. I love it. Look out. Is this gonna get on camera? That a boy? Look at that. There we go. That chef would have like. Uh -oh. oh, I just needed to get it out. That was not it. Bruh. Ooh, that looks like a simulator stroke. Come on, guys. You've all thought it. If you had time to practice like these guys, you would have been D1 for sure. Well, that's exactly what I'm putting to the test. I was an all-state football and track athlete in high school, and I started playing golf three years ago, and I'm currently at a four handicap. And I think if I had the time to practice like these guys, I could probably be D1. Well, not only is he putting me to the test in these four categories, he's also revealing four of their secret practice drills that will help you become a better golfer, and it's something you can take home and test yourself to see where you stack up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first drill is a chipping drill and here's how it works. You create six holes on the practice screen ranging from 10 to 40 yards away. Each of these holes is given a par of two. Then you take your five highest lofted clubs and your putter and each hole is assigned to one of those clubs. Then your goal is to shoot one under on those six holes. So the first shot we're gonna do is with your lob wedge. It's gonna be a classic short-sided shot, right? Lob wedge got the most loft. So we're gonna drop it here and we're gonna hit a 60 degree to that pin and then we're gonna try and get it up and down. Now there's gonna be six shots. Yep. If you shoot 11, which means you get all five up and down and you hole one of them, that's what our guys have to do. Okay. All right, if you shoot one over, that's pretty good. We'll call that D2 for, this, for the sake of this. You shoot three over, call that D3. You shoot worse than three over. Okay. Up and downs for par, right? Up and yeah. downs for par, but we're trying to shoot. So this drill is always one under par is our completion goal. Pretty good. But she's, she's screaming by a that little bit. screaming by, yep. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. We got a little wiggler uh -oh. coming back. Nice. I'm going to clean that up. We're going to flip all the way to the lowest lofted or the highest, or lowest lofted. Okay. okay. From right here. Okay. Easy shot to execute. Just hit it a little hard. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Did not. Just a little hard. I gave it more break. Nice, good work. Okay, we're two over. We're gonna go with a 52, which for you is your middle club. Yep. And we're gonna go to this hole right in front of us. Oh, I love that. Love that. Keep going, keep going. Very good. You see how fast you adjusted though to a new club? Yeah. Boom, let's go. Let's freaking let's go. Come on, we're back. Let's we're back. Go. We're... There we go. I love that. Okay, we're one over through, or two over through three. Okay, we're gonna do a gap wedge from the rough up the hill. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'd argue, that was the easiest shot to execute. You did great with it. That's way easier than a lob wedge from that situation. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come Here on. we go, okay. This is not gonna be a friendly one. Oh, I love it. I love it, look out. Is this gonna get on camera? Oh! oh! Man, was that brilliant. Woo! There we go. See it? Not a boy. There we go. Finish I'm strong. Pumped, there, boy. Huh? Okay, we got one more. Okay. Now, if I can tell anything to anybody who wants to get better at golf, if you watch our guys and you watch PGA Tour players, the, with intention and detail, the number one thing that is shocking is how their ball on tour always stops by the hole. Ninety percent of the things we've talked about this semester are whatever you do, stop your ball by the hole. PGA Tour players, it goes up to like this from everywhere all day long. Yeah. And it's actually one of the hardest skills. So we always finish with a lag putt. Okay. Very simple, about a 45 footer. Little break in it, right? We're trying to get this down in two. That's it. 
Okay, I like the line. See how it was dying just that hard. That's you, not bad. That's, that's not bad. Oh my goodness. How about hey, that's that close, a good, man? That's a good finish. I'm happy with that. So you shot two over for six holes. Now, if you're going and playing in your Wednesday night game and you do that, you're beating the field by a lot. Yeah. You're picking up shots. So we call that the up and down challenge. Six holes. We pick them. We go around in a circle till they shoot one under. And you shot two of them. Pretty darn good, man. I was able to complete the chipping drill at plus two, meaning I'm somewhere between D2 and D3. Next up, putting. Welcome to the Fa Fox Family Putting Green, one of the biggest putting greens in the middle part of the country. We got this roll on just, just above 11, so a little slower in PGA Tour speed, but close. And we're going to just do a simple compass drill. Okay, so every time we're practicing, we're trying to do something that puts pressure on them, right? It's no, there's no value in what we call blocked practice unless they're changing something to come out and hit the same shot 10 times in a row. Yeah. We want them to be competing towards something. And when they get out of class and they've had a busy day, we don't know how much time we're gonna get them before they gotta go back to study or they gotta go play. So we try and set up things that are completion oriented. You could complete this drill in five minutes. If you do, I'm gonna be very impressed. But I'm gonna give you five chances to do it. Well, you know, putting is the worst part of my game, so this is the one I'm most nervous for, but we'll see if. Normal compass drill. We got Northeast, Southwest, okay. and we got a four footer, we got a six footer, and we got an eight footer. The four footer is a par putt. The six footer is a par putt. The eight footer is a birdie putt. You gotta go around these 12 putts and shoot two under par. Two under par is division one. That's, okay. uh, you go around two under par, that's good. Even par, that's D2. Two over par, D3. Worse than two over par, we're in big trouble. So one of the things I'll tell you here, go through your full routine like this matters. This okay. is for par. Yeah, this is for par. Yep. I got you. Okay. Ooh, that looked like a simulator stroke. All right, we're one over. <laughs> I'm, I'm bracing for D not on this one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, good try. All right, one over going to the second yep. stage. So pretty straight, I think. Got a four footer for par. No, we're two okay, over. I gotta, that ball. I, I got. I got to step it up. That ball wiggled up. a little left, so we might need to play right center, right edge. And if you guys have watched the channel, you already know I suck at putting. There was no way I was going to step up on this. I only ended up taking one attempt, but it didn't matter if I took five attempts. I was going to be D none, no matter what. Oh, didn't play the right. break. Okay, what was that? Four over. It's four over. Uh, unfortunately, that's D nine now. Ah. And after two rounds, I was division two slash three on chipping and D none on putting. I was gonna have to step it up in the bunker play. Just to be clear, fans, I think he has very little chance of completing this drill. Um, this is the hardest drill we do, so I feel bad. He's zero for two, and now we're going to this. But maybe he'll surprise us. All right. So we're gonna get in this bunker. And what we ask our players to do, just a short bunker shot, five, six yards, we ask our players to land the ball on the towel and keep it on the towel. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not Wait. shooting for like seven out of 10 on this one. This oh is goodness, if you get one out of 10, you are D1, right? I'm now, D1. if you land- If I get lucky and get one out of 10. If you land one on the towel out of 10, we're gonna call it D2. Okay. All right, and if you don't land, if you get every ball out of the bunker, we'll call that D3. Okay. But if a ball stays in that bunker, which is the biggest mistake to make. It's the second biggest mistake to make, and that's D. So no matter what, in a bunker, you gotta get out. You gotta get Even out. Even if you're going long and... Wow, nice. That okay. actually wasn't bad. That, that was good. That was All right, not that bad. That was good technique. I like where your weight was. I like the position. Oh, man, good stuff here so far. All right. We're out, we're still D3. We're still D3, we're still, we got it still out. D3. We got it out. Okay. That was close. That was close. That was not a bad one. I like this. Okay, pretty good. I'm a little right on him. A little right, yeah, which means your path is good. We're gonna be usually coming across it. Just keep that face open. Okay. Yeah, oh. let's go. Oh let's, my. All right, that oh, was I close. I thought I was sticking it. Yeah, that's tough.
This next shot will give me eight out of 10 shots out of the bunker, one on the towel. If I can okay. just put these next two shots out of the bunker, I'll be ranked division two on bunker play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I just needed to get it out. That was not it. Bruh. Oh no. I choked. But you did good. Wait, I'm proud of you. Was my, my yeah. D anything? I think, it? you know, we'll give you a D3. D3. Now, <laughs> I gotta build, I'm building up. We're I don't want to insult any D3 players that are really good. So, but I mean, that was so serviceable. Like I can make a Hope, like a Hope College, like well, a D3 with the bunker. We'd have to game. fix the putting, yeah. The pu yeah, putting, the putting is good. Yeah, you know, we gotta get that handicap down to a plus one, which, you know, you're five shots away. And after going D2 slash three on the chipping, D none on the putting, and D3 on bunker play, I got one more shot to see if I have what it takes in the irons. And to do that, he brought me on their state of the art Trackman simulator. Now, if you guys want to get your own simulator at home, obviously a TrackMan is extremely expensive, but the launch monitor we recommend is the FlightScope Mevo Plus. By far the best launch monitor under $10,000, and we think it is 99% of what the TrackMan is. Now, let's get into the drill that he had me do. So we're going to give you five shots where you go both ways, alternating. We'll see how many of those five. Okay, that I can do. Yeah, now D1, you're talking about seven of those have to be in the window minimum. Seven out of 10. Out of 10. Ooh. D2, you're talking five. D3, you're talking three. D0, less than that. Oh, that's really bad. Nope. All right. That's Toey. So Toey, that's Toey, we overhooked it, we're 0 for 1. Okay, so now I'm going, the, I'm flipping bolts, so now I'm going now start we gotta, right. We gotta start right, hit a cut. We gotta get a ball with a negative spin axis that doesn't cross the center line. Uh-oh. Oh, uh no. Now we got a positive spin axis. That ball's curving to the right. We're 0 for 2. Uh-oh. So we got double misses going I here. I am struggling. OK, right. so which one are you going with this time? Oh, no. So good start line. Okay. I just wanted hooking and finishing left Finish. of the center line. Okay. Uh-oh. Boy, I tell you. Shot, it's, it's tough because I'm I like I said I'm zero, so to get the shot <laughs> shape, I'm like, oh. Okay, now we got we're going for the cut? Yep. Gotta get this path over there to the to the right. Oh. Alright! One for okay. six. No, that works. That's, that's a little fat. That's not that's the yard. Alright, the but... spin access is left, that ball's curving back, right? One for six. Good work. Oh, he went for the cut when he was trying to hit the draw. Okay, so let's go back. That's a perfect fade. Did he do it? That a boy! Look oh, at that! There we go. Okay, now I've known you for the span of 30 minutes, and I'll tell you, you're already a better fader than you are a drawer. Oh, a oh, little left. Oh. Oh man, that was close. So that spin that access close. is negative. Yeah. So that ball was fading, but that was almost perfect. Oh, and he, he double crossed it. So let's review two for eight. That's D none, right? The reality of this drill is um, you've got a good swing. You obviously have good awareness of where your path is to play at the highest level. You would need better awareness of manipulating that path and face around. After after four or four examinations, you know the the ball striking with the shot shaping, the bunker play, the, uh, the short putts, and the uh, short game. I regret to inform you, you're not ready for college golf yet. All right, coach. I don't know if I accept that evaluation. I had never done the iron drill before, and I definitely think I'm ready for some level of college golf. So here's what I propose. Me versus you, 1v1 match play. I win, you gotta admit I'm ready for some level of college golf. You win, I'll admit you were right. You got my number, I'll see you on the course.